Alright, how you doing? Um, today I'm going to be doing a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers review and today I'll be doing the Dino Megazord. Now originally this Megazord is from the Super Sentai Season uh, Zoo Ranger which is what the which is what Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was taken from. The suits and the zords and the weapons and all the Rita's Moon Palace, Palace and all that's taken from Zoo Ranger. So I'll be doing. I'm gonna do each sword separately, just briefly, because there's not really a lot. To, there's not really a lot to say on their own. They don't really do a lot. So, just bear with me. Right, here we have the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now, this is my favourite sword of a lot of them. Out of the Dino Megazord. Well, I'll not include the Green Dragon Sword because that comes on its own, but I'll get there later in the next video. Now, the Tyrannosaurus Rex had it did, did a lot more than the rest of them. The rest of them didn't really do that much. Now, I'd be able to fight on its own, so it would, you know, I'd be able to would have a tail whip, and it would have a cannon inside its mouth. And um, it would use its arms to attack. And um, it would have two ways, you can either stand it like this. Or you can move the tail like a bit. Like, you can hear that click there. And move the feet up and have it standing. But I think having it standing like that's a lot better. Alright, and uh, this is the sword of Jason, who to me, who to me is the best Power Ranger and obviously because he's a Red Ranger always have the Red Ranger anyway that's the uh, Transformers Rex and see Mastodon this, this is the Mastodon as I said before it doesn't really do much and um, well uh, this, 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 this is uh, Zack's sword it's a very nice sword doesn't really do much as in movement, the trunk would move and um, now I will say if you're looking for the Mastodon make sure it comes with the, the tusks because they will get lost because you'll, you'll get a lot of stuff you'll find off eBay that um, there'll be mega parts missing from Megazords, horns, the, the saber, guns so we'll just watch out for that also on my Megazord I have the accurate stickers I'll point them out whenever they come along. As for example, the M. It's different. And the American version. This is the American version, but um, I bought I bought the uh, I, I bought a set of stickers uh, a set of stickers from uh, RepoLabels.com. So I would check that out if you're looking to change the stickers because they are worth getting. It make, makes your makeup look a lot better. So. That's pretty much a Mastodon, it doesn't really do much, as I've said for the third time. Um, yes, move on. Um, Super Tough Tiger, which would be Trini Zord. It's an okay Zord too. Um, it's got most mm, movability, or movement, I should say. And it would have an attack, which would be his gun. The tail would turn into a gun. A bit of fire, so it would. And there's also a few episodes, I think it was teamwork, where it's like it ran off a cliff and sort of like um, like sort of ran through the monster. That's about it really. Plus the yeah, accurate stickers. There. And there. That's the Super Tough Tiger, um, Triceratops. Now, this one, whenever I got this, I didn't get the horns. And I've been trying to get the horns for a long time. It's just not looking good, because I'm not going to pay lots of money just for two little plastic horns. Or, you know, but if I do, if I find a Megazord, if I find a Megazord cheap enough, I'm going to go for it. Because I need them, you know, it sort of makes it look better, but in the meantime, I can't, can't find them anywhere. 
So if you're if you're looking for this, make sure the horns are on it. And um, the only tack you would have is the, the, this one under gun. God, that's pretty much that's pretty much the triceratops. Doing these briefly because there's not really a lot to say about them. No point, no point spending a lot of time going over something because there's not really a lot to say. I um, have the the final one. We have the tris the pterodactyl, and um, the chest piece is a lot better than the other. Um, and the American stickers, it's just a blue and it's not shiny. So anyway, this the the good thing with the pterodactyl is it's a it's a flying it's a flying zone, so you can sort of use your imagination with it. You know, sort of. Fight about as if it's a plane or something, and it would fire like lightning bolts out of here, and that would be its weapon. So that's pretty much that's the pterodactyl. And move on to the megazord. Now, before I would go, before I would go into the megazord, I would have a tank mode, and I'm going to show you how it's done. Take the try to take the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and there's a little there's a little clip there. First of all, you move the feet up like that, and move the wee arms up like that. And there's, there's wee black buttons here. There's one on your side. Here, you push them in, and it moves their knees up like that. Now that's the way the tank mode should be done. I've seen people do it. I've seen people not use the black buttons and it's just been wrong. The tank mode doesn't look right. So so it means that um, your trans source is looking like that. Take the the trans the uh, super tough tiger and the triceratops and I flip flip the tail over so it goes like that. Now that is very easy to do. So it is. Take the um, Super Tough Tiger, flip the tail in, put the two feet in like that, and put the front two feet up like that. And move the move the, the tusks so they're like so they're like that. And there's two big holes. Whenever you put the tails in, you get a wee you get a wee bit here, and there's two wee bits sticking out of the Megazord's knee. And a slot in here. There you go, and there, and now it moves now. And may I say, uh, I'm going to point out that um, it goes um, Triceratops on the right and Super Tiger on the left. I've seen some photographs on the internet on eBay that they have it the other way around. I'm just stating that, that this is the way it should be. Um, then you take the mastodon, which will end up being. Take the head off. Split it. So, ends up like that. And there'll be there'll be two clips here and here. No, no, two clips there. Sorry. Um. Oh my, no, that there is. Yes. Um, they're here and they go on the back. Like that. And there's two wee clips in the arms, which the one clips into, and then you swing the arms around, and there you have. The arms or guns of tank mode. Then make sure whenever you're getting this, make sure that you get these the cannons because the cannons are very, very rare. They're hard to get as well. I was lucky enough that they came with me. Then you take the mastodon's head. There's like a wee. There's a wee bit you pull out. 
and there's a wee hole and you put it in there and there you have tank mode and on the pterodactyl now you can do this without it but it does you can you can have the tank mode without the pterodactyl but it does go on on tank mode there's like there's two two wee two wee bits here on the on the front and they clip in between the two the two feet of the master ball and there you go that is Megazord in tank mode now it's very easy to transform this just take off the as for the Megazord take off the Ternagda and take off the cannons now the cannons when they're Megazord mode they go they go here so they do like that so if you put, if you put them there you won't lose them flip the tail up like this and um, take the mammoth off. Sorry, I'm in the way there. And you um, do that to reveal the fist. Do the same. So you have two fists. Then you push the two black buttons that I told you about earlier, and they'll change it back to the way it was. Oh yes, and put these out too. Then you there you go. Make this work easy as that. You arm down, chest piece down, put the transfer head in, move them out, and take the pterodactyl. Here I go, put the head in, and it goes here, and there you have the Dino Megazord. Now for me, uh, if for, now for me, this is the best Megazord. It's the original, I'd say definitely get it. <coughs> if you are getting this again, like I said, the same with the Triceratops tusks, or the Triceratops horns, the uh, mammoth uh, tusks, and the um, the guns. Make sure he has the saber. Now this is important. So what is? Now, as you probably know, the when the first the first set of these that released the the chrome they came they came with a chrome sword, but of course due to health and safety and they were plastic. But what I've done is see. They would come round it, you see, but what I've done is I took a knife and I sort of moulded it, I sort of shaped it out so it would look like a point. It's not the best, but it does it. Now, it goes in there and you take the mammoth head. Now, this would disappear. It's very rare have they used this, but I'll use an example. They used it in Grim of the Evil. I think the Green Ranger was giving them problems, so we so like, fired an energy beam and they used the shield. So. This is Anna Megazord. Um, thanks for watching and have a nice day.